Hi class. I recently had the opportunity to interview my daughter who just transitioned into adulthood a year ago. I asked her what she felt were some of the positives and negatives of transitioning into adulthood from her high school years. The number one thing she said was that independence factor is both positive and negative. I asked her how so. She said that independence is awesome because you get to make your own decisions and chart your own course. However, on the other side of things, you're independent, so that means that the buck stops here. The responsibilities lie with you. And if you mess up, it's all on you. There's no pointing a finger at someone else. You're, the res you're responsible for your decisions you make and the outcomes as a result. There is a financial factor, especially if you're in school, she said. For instance, if you're in school, it makes working full-time very challenging. So you are constantly battling questions, should I spend this, should I save this? Sometimes she said it comes down to, do I need this coffee or do I need a lab book? In most cases, you make the right decisions, but it's not an easy time of life. The transition into adulthood looks very different for people. Some people are moving out of the house that they've been living in. Some people have, may have been in foster care and that means they're completely on their own. Some people may be going off to college. Others might be staying home for college. Some people make a decision to get married shortly after entering adulthood, or they make a choice to move in with friends or a significant other. All of these changes are a result of the independence that they now have, but it isn't always easy, and it can even lead to feelings of depression at times when people realize that they have to make these decisions and then abide by the consequences. On the other hand, Many people feel very elated, at least temporarily, while the, when they realize that they can exercise their individuality and independence. For my daughter, who I referred to earlier, she decided right before she became an adult that it wasn't going to be as fun as she thought, and she dug her heels in and was trying to avoid adulthood. However, as we know, age and time continue to progress whether we want them to or not. I looked for some advice that people might give to someone just getting uh, ready to hit adulthood. Here's part of a list I found on Elite Daily. I think there's some good advice. Don't be afraid of failing. Be afraid of not trying. Listen to your parents and spend time with them. Don't be consumed with technology all the time. Unplug. Popularity means nothing. And make memories. Then I thought about what advice I would give to someone who was transitioning into adulthood. Learn that the world doesn't revolve around you. I know it's hard to imagine, but we need to realize that everyone is the center of their own universe. We need to expand our horizons. Be kind to others. There is no excuse for rudeness. Show kindness to those you love and those you come in contact with. Let people know they mean something to you before it's too late. Live within your means. Don't adapt a lifestyle that you can't afford. If you can only afford a small apartment, don't sign on for a $3,000 a month three bedroom house. Take the smaller place and then save. Can't afford that new phone? Just wait. Avoid using credit when possible. Save and give to worthy causes. And finally, make your life count. This will mean different things to different people, but it goes back to my first one about being kind. Find ways to give to others. Give of your time, your resources. It doesn't have to be a lot, but giving is not just good for the one that you're giving to, it's also good for you. There is a lot to be said about transitioning to an adulthood, and I'm sure you have advice that you would give someone too. Have a great week. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions.